Welcome to Everyday Linux User, and here are five reasons why Linux is better than Windows. I'm going to start off with number one, and it's installation. Most people don't have to install Windows because it's already installed on their PC when they first get it. Um, but if you do find yourself in a position where you have to install Windows, then you will realize very quickly that the Linux installation process is a lot smoother than the Windows installation process. Uh, for one, it's quicker. Uh, generally, I can install a Linux distribution within 20-25 minutes. And uh, Windows, uh, you end up in this endless loop of, um, even after you've answered all the questions that they've asked, uh, we need to restart, we need to restart, we need to restart. And it restarts, restarts, restarts. And then eventually get to another screen where it then asks you some more questions. And then it, you think you're at the end. You think, oh, we've done all these restarts. We've done all, 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 all this sort of stuff. But no, then it says, we're almost finished. We're just setting things up for you. We're almost finished. We're just setting things up for you. Linux, about five or six questions. Uh, copies of files over. You're done. You're installed. Which brings us up to number two, updates. Once you've installed Windows, um, you will find that quite often, because the ISO is out of date, the um, image is out of date, that it then wants to install lots of Windows updates. And anyone who's been using Windows for long enough knows how painful the Windows update process is. Um, you'll be typing away, and then somebody will say, oh, I need to install an update. Or you've uh, turned your machine off and you need to turn it on to print out some concert tickets or, or do something important online and you turn it on it says install an update one of 365 this may take some time your system may need to reboot you in the process uh, in Linux yes your ISO might also be out of date but you'll find the updates happen in the background whilst you're still using the system and uh, you can reboot um, at your leisure um, so quite clearly the Linux update process is far better than the Windows update process. Number three on the list is choice. So uh, a lot of comments that a Windows user might make about Linux is why are there 300 odd distributions? Why do you need so many? And even if you've got those distributions you've got each one's got three or four different desktop environments that you can install. Why do you need so much? Well Imagine a world where there was only one pair of shoes and everyone was made at one pair of shoes and they're all size seven, adult size seven. So you've got people with big feet unable to get their feet into the shoes and you've got people with like toddlers and small children unable to get the shoes on because they can't, their feet don't fit them the other way. And that's what you're saying when you're saying um, there's too much choice in distributions. What you're saying is you, you don't want a world where there's vanilla chocolate and strawberry ice cream. You just want one, one flavour. One flavour fits all. And the problem with that, of course, is not every PC is the same. Imagine you've got this great big gaming PC with all the power in the world. It's running Windows 11. It's perfect for Windows 11. Windows 11 is going to run fine on it. And then you've got a mini PC that's got 4 gig of RAM, 2 gig of RAM, it's got a really small cell one processor. That same machine has to run the same operating system as the gaming PC. It doesn't make sense. Where Linux, you can run your gaming PC on the finest, shiniest desktops like GNOME and KDE, but you can run your mini PC on a window manager or a lighter desktop environment such as LXDE. So one size doesn't fit all and uh, Linux, is great for that. It, it it's you've got more shoes than you could ever think of wearing. Whereas Windows, this is what you're getting. Use it, don't use it. That's it. Number four, cost. Um, well, w Windows uh, actually it's been generally uh, free to upgrade um, recently from one version to the other. But if you haven't got Windows, you still have to buy it initially. Um, and it costs, it costs quite a bit of money. And if you use their office suite, you have to pay a monthly fee to use their office um, suite. Um, and going forward, there's um, 
it's been predicted that Windows will go to a Windows as a service model where your computer will be a dumb terminal and the only way to get to the operating system is via on, uh, online and you'd have to pay a monthly subscription to use your operating system and they could do that anyway whether it's online or offline they could they could say that it's five pound a month and you have to um, pay that five pounds or they cut off your operating system your computer is useless because they've decided to do that and they're a commercial entity and they have every right to do that if they so wish Linux is free at the point of use and moving on to point number five it's free as in you have the choice to do what you want with it with Windows um, and this comes under the one choice thing is here's the desktop this is what it looks like you use it that's it Linux you can customize you can tailor every single element to be the way you want it to be and you can use your computer exactly how you want to use it so Linux is a far more useful to the average human being than Windows because you can get it to really work to your workflow um, whereas Windows this is what you're getting Just live with it and that's it that's the end of the video uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on everyday Linux user